episode 481 of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. I will be talking about tonight's episode of WWE Monday Night Raw, the go-home show, before this Saturday's premium live event payback right here, right now, 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Hey wrestling fanatics, welcome to this Monday episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Thank you everyone for tuning in tonight. Hope everyone had a nice day today. And going to be talking about tonight's WWE Monday Night Raw, the go home episode before this Saturday's WWE Payback Premium Live Event. And tonight's Raw is live from Memphis, Tennessee in the FedEx form. And we start things on Monday Night Raw tonight with, once again, the graphic that they showed on SmackDown Friday the split screen with Terry Funk and Bray Wyatt. Our commentators tonight, Michael Cole and Wade Barrett, and we start things off with Sami Zayn taking on Damian Priest of the Judgment Day. Priest gets the win here over Sami Zayn. With some help from the Judgment Day. And the Viking Raiders defeat the New Day. And all four men in this tag team match had a Bray Wyatt armband on. Which quite a few of the superstars tonight did. Chad Gable... Taking on Lou Red Geyser is next. And Gable gets the win here via disqualification. Gable will challenge Gustner for the WWE Intercontinental Championship this Saturday at Payback. And next up on Monday Night Raw. Tommaso Ciampa versus Bronson Reed. Ciampa making his entrance is jumped from behind by Reed, but Ciampa gets the victory in this match. And in the main event tonight on Monday Night Raw, Becky Lynch versus Zoe Starks with her mentor Trish Stratus in her corner. Falls Count Anywhere match. And this one actually wasn't too bad of a match. And they use, of course, weapons. And they brawl on the outside. They go over to where the timekeeper's table is. And Trish hits Becky with a DDT off that through a table. Zoe goes for the cover, gets a two count. Then they brawl through the crowd where some of the equipment trunks are. And there are two more tables set up over there. And all three of them get on the trunk. And Zoe Stark goes to hit Becky Lynch. 
but accidentally hits her mentor Trish Stratus, knocking her off the trunk through the table that was on the floor. And both of them actually kind of stand there for a few seconds or so, just looking shocked after what happened. And then Becky Lynch hits the manhandle slam on Zoe Stark off the trunk that was through a table that was on another side and pins Zoe start to get the win in this false count anywhere match and Becky Lynch will face Trish Stratus inside of a steel cage this Saturday at Payback. I know I didn't uh, rate any of the other matches I, you know how bad my memory is, I forgot, but this, I'll do the main event. Falls count anywhere, I'd say three out of five ring bells. I wouldn't say it was really that great, but it was pretty good though. And that was tonight's WWE Monday Night Raw. Like I said earlier, the go home before this Saturday's payback, which we have another big pro wrestling weekend coming up. Not only payback on Saturday, but AEW already returning to pay-per-view one week later with All Out. And as it was announced last night during the All Out Media Scrum, Orange Cassidy will be defending the AEW International Championship against Penta El Zero Mieto tomorrow night on Dynamite. And the winner of that match will defend against John Moxley this Sunday night at All Out. So, either way, no matter who walks out at Dynamite this Wednesday night as the international champion, I'd say them against John Moxley probably be a pretty good match. Also, I forgot to mention this during Raw, but it was added for Payback Saturday, the Universal Tag Team Champions, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn will be defending against the Judgment Day in a Steel City street fight. Of course, Payback is being held in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I didn't talk about this last night during the All In London recap, but there was some behind the scenes that took place backstage. Unfortunately, this kind of seems like it's almost becoming a tradition now. Uh, CM Punk getting in a fight backstage. Uh, What I have seen, this took place after Perry's match with Hook on Zero Hour. And... There was an altercation between the two backstage. Uh, Punk and Joe went on first for the Real World's Championship. So I'm sure he was back there getting ready. I heard, I have seen two things online, two different stories. I guess you could say one says that. Jack Perry approached Punk and well that's CM Punk's side of the story 
And there are some people that are saying that Punk actually approached Perry and threw the first punch. And, but now both CM Punk and Jack Perry have been suspended from AEW. Which now I'm guessing that the storyline with the Real World's Championship will be put on hold. And even before this uh, fight backstage, uh, Jack Perry just dropped the FTW Championship to hook on Zero Hour. This whole thing is just really too bad uh, with, with Punk and it's not it's it's not like just it's bad enough almost one year ago now just about at last year's All Out the first bra with Punk and the Elite and then he also had not too long ago he had another altercation with uh, a couple other guys and one of them Ryan Namath and that one report came out about him not wanting anybody that he doesn't like at Collision since that is his show I just wish not just Punk but everybody else too would just get along and do what's best for AEW to help the company succeed so hopefully there won't be any more but you never know. So that is all for this Monday night episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Episode 481. Thank you everyone for tuning in tonight once again. Remember, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, or you can leave your feedback on tonight's WWE Monday Night Raw or you could still leave feedback from AEW All in London or last night's Impact Wrestling Emergence. And hopefully tomorrow, maybe, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the Tuesday night episode of 360 every Tuesday night, but you never know. I could be here with 360 Wrestling Fanatic talking about tomorrow's NXT. But I will be back tomorrow morning with the Tuesday episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans. I will talk to you then. But for now, I am Lance, and I am a wrestling fanatic.